welcome to our broadcast. Today we will be covering the January character trait of the Panda Pride, which is which is A for authentic. To be authentic means to be original or true to yourself. Every person being interviewed today has been authentic in their own actions and passions. My name is Sophia Cattell. Today, uh, today I'll be interviewing Ms. H, the strings teacher at Valley View. First question we have today is how long have you been, at, been with us at Valley View School? I've only been at Valley View for about three months now. The second question we have, is this your first time performing a concert with the students? This is my first time as a teacher, but I had, for my student teaching, I conducted two concerts. Do you think there's a one instrument that is the hardest to play? For a string instrument, I think bass is the hardest to play just because it's so big. Do you have a favorite song to, to have the students perform? Um, the fifth graders actually just started a new orchestra song called Impulse that I really like. Why did you choose the songs Up on the House Top and Jingle Bells? Um, we chose these songs because they're at the level for the students to play and they're good winter songs. What's your favorite instrument to play? My favorite instrument to play is piano. How were you able to play so many instruments at one time? Well, I went to college for music, so when you're in college as music education, you have to take a bunch of different classes on how to learn a bunch of different instruments. Great. Thank you. That concludes the, the interview with Ms. H. Hello, my name is Ian. And I'm interviewing Chloe today. I've been playing the bass for two school years. I played it in fourth grade and fifth grade. Is, is it the hardest? Is it a hard instrument? Um. Well, and any instrument can be really easy if you if you like really dedicated. I mean, for me, I I know I tried to be. Uh. Yeah. I, if if like you don't just like go to like. The uh, practices that you have, like you slack, do your do not do your homework. It might be a harder instrument to play, so I would really recommend that for if there's any uh, third graders listening to this right now, because uh, they might be interested to play the bass. Do you have a bass friends? Sadly, I do not. I'm the only bass player here. But there are uh, some fourth graders playing uh, the LA, which is really cool because at last year fourth grade I didn't have that. I was the only one too. What is your favorite piece? Um, I, oh, I really like Up on the Housetop. And I mean, Jingle Bells is a classic as well, which is really good. Um, I mean, just all together, they all sounded really good, I would say. Were you nervous when you went on stage? Uh, yeah, I feel like everyone can be a little nervous when they're up on stage in front of like a lot of people, especially in front of when you're in the parents, when you're in front of all the parents. It could be really um, overwhelming. When do you practice? Uh, I practice in the morning at 10 a.m. On, uh, on Tuesdays every week. How long do you practice? I practice for 30 minutes and I try to make the most of it with Ms. H. I usually pick songs that are at the student's level of playing at the time. 
What is your favorite song to have students perform? Star Wars. How, How long have you been teaching at Valley View? I've been teaching at Valley View for 20 years. What did you think about the students' practice? I thought they did a good job. They tried their best and they, 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 did a, they had a good performance. Do you think there is one instrument that is the hardest to play? I usually find the flute and the trumpet uh, challenging uh, for students to play because of the hand position and the way they have to develop their, their mouth position on the instrument. Thank you. That concludes the interview for Mr. Kinkay. Six year teaching music, um, chorus, and general music at Valley View. Nice. What is so authentic about the concert? Being authentic means being true to yourself. And I believe that the concert showed many different students and different talents and abilities, whether it was on instruments or singing or movement, that was authentic to who they are. Wow. How many concerts do you have students doing in one year? Let's see, I have um, four formal ones and two more show and tells. Nice. Why did you pick the, pick the songs you picked for the concert? So for Orf Club, the two songs were I Love the Mountains and Peaches. I Love the Mountains was originally a round that we learned in the beginning of the year and the students loved it so much that they wanted to have it a part of the concert. And Peaches from Mario was a song that the students like to listen to. And in Orf Club, I love to tie in what is currently popular on the xylophones. We Believe We is a classic American folk song that also provided movement for the students. Aurora Mi Niño was in Spanish, which that is the language that the students are learning in school. And Do Re Mi covers our soul fetch symbols that we learn in music class to read and identify notes. Nice. Um, what is the best part of being a music teacher? The best part of being a music teacher is watching my students grow and right. learn from the time they are in kindergarten to all the way in fifth grade, getting better at something. Even if they don't go and become singers or music teachers or something in the industry, for them to know ultimately how to dance to a steady beat or sing along at a concert, I've done my job. Nice. Thank you, Mrs. Ivins, for all um, being here today. You're welcome. Hi, my name is Ekra McKenna. Today I'm going to interview Paul today. How, how did you practice your lines and parts and what was your favorite one? We practiced lines by Miss Ivins giving us a sheet of paper and with every line there's like this letter and we copy it off. And my favorite one had to be Peaches. It's about, it's, it sounded so smooth. What, what do you do in an old club with Miss Ivins? We sort of get, uh, we sort of practice our everyday songs and we sort of, uh, that's it really. And then we just practice it. Were you excited, nervous, or any emotion? I was really nervous that because we some days their orf was like canceled or something, so I was worried that we didn't have any no, enough practice for it. What what is the main thing you had to do during the concert? The main thing we had to do was uh, play the right notes at the right time because if we uh, if any of us did it at the wrong time, it would sound like bad or wrong. What was, the, what was the hardest thing you had to do during the concert? The hardest thing we had to do was um, look at, like, make sure we were doing the right notes and make sure we were doing, like, which side we were doing it on. Okay, this is off today. Bye. Hello, um, I'm Navia, and today I will be interviewing Shema. Let's get started. 
started. First, what do you do in the concert? Well, when we first get out into the gym, uh, the people for the Weebly Weed Dance would go on, we'd get in our positions, and then after the uh, like introduction, the dancers would start, the singers would start. And then after we'd sing, uh, after the dancers would dance, they'd go back on stage. Then for the rest of the songs, we would really like, you know, just sing the songs and, you know, just have fun and be like, we have to look happy and we can't really like, be like sad because it'll look like we're not happy either, right? Next question. What songs do you sing? We sing We Believe We, which is an American folk dance, and uh, Aroro Mi Nino, a Spanish song, lullaby, and uh, we also sing Do Re Mi from The Sound of Music. How much do you have to rehearse? I'd say we rehearse about like two months and a half or a month and a half, and uh, like we we rehearsed ever since this Ivan like told us about the play, and we pretty much just like practiced every music from then on. So like about like eight. No, much more. What was your favorite dance move? My favorite dance move was well, there was only dancing during Weebly Wee, so during that my favorite move was probably when we go like backwards and forwards because we step forward four times then backwards four times and last question what was your favorite song you sing uh my favorite song was dory me because like we get to shout at the end we get to be so loud and point out the different like notes First question, how long have you been here at Valley View? Hi, Drea. I've been <laughs> here at Valley View. Um, I just started my 18th year in January. I started in January, not September. <laughs> okay, next. What is, the, what is your favorite part of the job? Ooh, that's a hard one. My favorite part of the job, well, of course, I work with a wonderful fifth grade team, Mrs. Ford, Ms. Street, Ms. Alchek. Miss Veranda, Mr. Larkin, and Miss Basales, but of course, I love the students and connecting with them and hearing all about their day and helping them learn. Hi. Next question. Have you always worked with fifth grade? Well, before I came to Valley View, I worked in a third grade and second grade in kindergarten. And when I came here, I was in preschool for 10 years and then first grade for one year third grade for two years, and the past five years, fifth grade. Okay, last question. What is the greatest memory you've had for the school year so far? For this year? Well, of course, you know, all our Swifties. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, Connor loves messy, so that's always fun. <laughs> Another fun memory was, you know, Mrs. Ford flying through the air. And I really enjoyed um, when you all we're in social studies and we worked on making interview questions for your explorers and people were qu queens and kings and I was Christopher Columbus. <laughs> that includes my interview with Mrs. McMahon. Thank you. Hi, well, my name is Dre and I'm interviewing Paul, a student of Mrs. McMahon. First question, how do you know about Mrs. McMahon in your own words? Mrs. McMahon, I'm in Miss Ford's class, and Mrs. McMahon is Miss um, Ford's paraprofessional, and she really helps everybody. Okay, how does she make you feel? She makes me feel that like that I really like belong there, and like I really like. She makes me feel that everybody should be happy. Sort of. Okay. Next question. What are three words you would use to describe Mrs. McMahon? I would describe Mrs. McMahon helpful, um, great, and huh, amazing. Last question. What are some ways she helps in the classroom? 
some ways she helps in the classroom is sometimes she goes to other people's classrooms and offers if she could help or anything. And she picks up all, she uses, makes uh, boards in the classroom and she helps if any of the teachers need help. Thank you. That includes my interview with Paul. Hi, my name is Bahar and today I'm interviewing Ms. Sullivan. First question, how does it feel like to be the Teacher of the Year? Hi, Bahar. It was a very exciting accomplishment for me. I've been teaching for a long time, so to finally get acknowledged for it was uh, very rewarding for me. Thank you. What does it feel like to be a fourth grade teacher now? Ooh, it was kind of an adjustment having to learn the new curriculum, um, but luckily I have a great class. I, I um, so having to grow with them is is nice, and learn everything with them is is a fun thing to do this year. Okay. Uh, how how long have you been in Valley View? I've been in Valley View for 22 years. Can you believe that? I started when I was 10. Have you taught somewhere else than Valley View? I have not. I've always been lucky to, lucky to teach at Valley View. So good. Last question. What do you like to do when you don't teach? Ooh, for my free time, I love to read. Um, and I also love to spend time with my family. We will go on hikes together, I'll go to their games and cheer them on, I'll help coach their teams. Um, I like to go to the lake and read books by the beach. So those are some fun things to do. That concludes the interview with Ms. Hi, my name is Bahar and today I'm interviewing Ellie. First question, how do you know Mrs. Sullivan? Mrs. Sullivan has moved up a grade from third grade to fourth grade. I was in her class last year and also this year, so I know how good as a teacher she is. What can you tell us about Mrs. Sullivan? Mrs. Sullivan has a reward system thing for our whole class. She has a perform game, so every time we are good, she pulls a stick. To get a prize, we need all the marbles to fall. The prizes can can be like an ice cream, an ice pop party, extra Reese's, or a movie. But we all get to pick and make up more prizes to vote on. She also does tickets, which is like if one person is good, she writes their name on it. On the last day of school week, she picks how much days of the school week we have been in, including the di that day number of tickets for the prize box. Another thing that Ms. Sullivan does is in the back of the room there is a class library where all kinds of books, uh, books are. If you are looking for a type of book, it is labeled on the bins they are in. Each year when the book fair comes, we get new books to the class library. We read for about 10 or 20 minutes after recess. Great, that concludes today's interview.